Our team of Eastern Paradigm has decided to explore Raimona National Park. Stay with us as we take you on a detailed tour of the park and show you all the amazing things it has to offer. From the dense green forests to the carefree wildlife, we will cover it all. We hope that you will enjoy watching it. So sit back, relax and let's explore the beauty of Raimona National Park together. I welcome you to Kochigao today and we have just arrived here and behind me is a bungalow built by the Britishers long back ago and let me give you some views inside this bungalow today. Come along with me. So this can be considered as one of the heritage sites uh, which can be found here at Borderland, situated right in between Portugal. It is surrounded by some local bazaars and also some local forest areas. And besides, it is famous for the latest inaugurated and established Raimona National Park, which was declared on 2021. So as you can see behind me is an old bungalow built by the Britishers. Although it is old, yet it is re renewed by some new structures added for strength and integrity. So let's have a close look up for the, towards this structure. So as you can see here, there are three tracks laid over here at the ground. These were built and placed by the Britishers long back so that they could uh, assemble their goods and loads over to this place. So it goes long way and there are many more such tracks which can hardly be found right now. So these are just the remains which you can see over here. The Kachugao tram line was built to profit the lucrative timber trade to Bengal. In 1924, a 19 mile length, a feeder forest tram line connection to the Eastern Bengal Railway's trunk line between Fakiragram and Kachugao was completed. It crossed through present day Raimona National Park, Kachugao, Hale, Kujrabguri, Amlaiguri. Samtaibari and Dothma Junction at Fakiragram. As the Kachigao Forest Tram was completed, the conservator proposed purchasing two steam locomotives and 20 trucks to economize on extraction and transportation of timber. The Eastern Bengal Railway became the largest buyer of sleepers at nominal cost after the completion of Kachigao Tram Line. Meanwhile, this vintage tram line was totally destroyed during times. However, remnants of this engine, tram line and bogies of the tram are lying abandoned in Kochigao.
So we are here again, just near that old bungalow built by the British. And behind me we have the Forest Rangers office, where all the formalities for you to get into Raimona National Park is done over here. So let us have a view inside. And generally, that is the office where all the formalities are done. And if you want to have a visit in Raimona National Park, you can get your formalities done over here. Just come and visit this place. It's really awesome. To know more about the visiting charges of Raimona National Park, the charges for cheap for half a day is 3,000 rupees. And for a full day visit, it's 5,500 rupees. Escort charges vary from 300 to 600 based on a half day or a full day visit. The entry fee for a half day is 400 and is the same for a full day visit. Per head charges are same throughout your visit and it is 100 rupees and for camera they charge 100 rupees as well. In June 2021 the Assam government declared the state's sixth national park, Raimona National Park, spreading over an area of 422 square kilometers in the Kokrajar district under the BTC combining parts of Ripuchurang Reserve Forests. Raimona is contiguous to Pipsu and Namgyal Wanchuk Wildlife Sanctuary. Known for its legendary elephant herds and rare butterflies, Raimona National Park is also home to Cheese Golden Langur, one of the world's most endangered primates, and other rare species such as Bengal tiger, clotted leopard, gore, and chittal. The park is also inhabited by various other species such as wild bison white-spotted deer, clouded leopard, and wild buffalo. It has recorded four to five species of hornbills, 170 species of birds, and more than 150 species of butterflies, 380 varieties of plants and orchids. Is it not amazing? According to a census conducted by the Assam Forest Department in 1981, about an estimated 1,200 elephants were found in the Manas Tiger Reserve, comprising an area of 2,837 square kilometers, which included the Raimona forests. The northern part of Raimona National Park shares the Indo-Bhutan international border with Pipsu Wildlife Sanctuary in Bhutan. The southern boundary of Raimona National Park runs eastward along the fire line Ride 6 up to Pequa River. Then it runs at 90 degrees southward until it meets fire line 3.
According to a census conducted by the Assam Forest Department in 1981, about an estimated 1,200 elephants were found in the Manas Tiger Reserve, comprising an area of 2,837 square kilometers, which included the Raimona forests. Many legends have emerged surrounding the elephant herds of this forest, some of which have also found their way into popular literature. A folk tale narrates that a maiden clad in a white sari commanded one of the largest elephant herds in this forest. Foresters and locals alike claim having seen this Pagli Sahan, meaning the elephant herd commanded by the mad girl. Gordon Cassidy, a colonial writer, employed variants of this folk narrative in his novels, The Elephant God and the jungle girl. In his book, Manas Manu Aru Trimurti, Assamese writer Ganesh Das mentions about foresters who claimed that they had seen Pagli Sahan. So after a while, I have reached Kuchigang Bazaar and I'll be leaving for Kograjar back to our office.